all the places to love. Patricia McLaughlin, companion by my women. On the day I was born, my grandmother wrapped me in a blanket made from the wool of a sheep. She held me up in the open window, so that what I heard first was the wind. What I saw first were all the places to love, the valley, the river falling down over rock, the hilltop where the blueberries grew. was painting the barn, and when he saw me, he cried. He called my name, Eli, on the grafter beside his name, and grandmother's name, and the name of my papa and mama. <music> mama carried me on her shoulders before I could walk, through the meadows and hay fields. The cow washed up, and the sheep scattered. The dogs ran ahead, looking back with sly smiles. When the grass were high, only their tails showed. When I was older, Papa and I plowed the field. Where else is soil so sweet? He said. Once Papa and I lay down in the field, holding hands, and the birds surrounded us. Broncos, black grackles, red wings, grows in the dirt. That's Quaker Life Parrot. When we left, Papa put a handful of dirt in his pocket. I did too. My grandmother loved the river best of all the places to love. That sounds like a whisper, she said. Gathering in pools. Where strong flashlight jewels in the sunlight, grandmother saw little black boats that river to me with messages. I love you, Eli, one said. We jumped from rock to rock to rock, across the river to where the woods began where Bunbury grew under the pine needle palm, and Trillium bloomed. Under the tea tree was a soft, crowded bed where a deer had slept. The bed was warm when I touched it. When spring rains came and the meadow turned to marsh, Cattail stood like guards, and cuties called. Duck nests by marsh marigolds, and the old turtle his shell all along. No matter how slow, still surprised me. Sometimes we climb to the place my mom loved best, with our blueberry buckets and a chair for my grandmother. To the blueberry barren when no tree grew, the sky and arm land away, where marsh parts skin over the land. And bears came to eat fruit, and wild turkeys left fruit wings for us to find. Like messages, where else? sighed my mama. Can I see the sunrise on one side and the sunset on the other?
Father Barnes is with Nellie, and dark and cool. Leather harnesses hang like paintings against a wood, and hay does flow like gold in the air. Grandfather one lives in the city, and once he lived by the sea. But the barn is the place he loved most. Where else is he? Can the soft sound of cow chewing make all the difference in the world? Today we wait. Him sitting on a wooden slat chair, and me on the hay. Until much later, my grandmother hold up a small bundle in the upper window, wrap in the blanket, make them the wool of the sheep, and my grandfather cries. Together, we carve the name Sylvie in the grafter. Beside the names of grandfather and grandmother, and my mama and papa. And me, my sister is born. Someday I might live in the city. Someday I might live by the sea. But soon I will carry Sylvie on my shoulder through the field. I will send her messages by river in small boats, and I will watch her at the top of the hill. Trying to touch the sky, I will show her my favorite place, the marsh, where duckling follow the mother like tiny tumble of leaves. Where else I will see? Does an old photo cross in the past make all the difference?